in this tutorial we will uh, see the matlab implementation of uh, chain wave segmentation model so uh, this model is different from uh, uh, snake and uh, geodesic active contour model because of its uh, uh, because of its functional so the overall theme both in the explicit method or the snake kind of method as well as the level set method that we use for geodesic active contour is this like you start with some functional then uh, uh, Euler Lagrange equation then we find a PD and then we try to solve this PD with some numerical uh, method so the functional used for chain wave segmentation is different from the other two so that is why we have we are treating it separately so the functional is called Mumford Shaw functional and its expression is shown on your screen it has three terms FA, FB, FC FA uh, and here some notations are there C is same as the evolving curve that we are using all, all the time here is small f represents image U represents its piecewise smooth approximation Omega represents the complete computational domain and Omega by C represents the domain within C right? so with this notation uh, you can understand the functional here the first term penalizes for uh, large length for uh, large length of uh, of the contour so its objective is to keep C smooth and compact FC the third term it uh, it penalizes for the presence of uh, gradient gradients within uh, within the region bounded by the C so basically it its main objective is to avoid too many edges in the region bounded by the C okay by the curves the second term FB term is the main term uh, but it looks like a mean square error mean square error between what the original image and its uh, 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 piecewise smooth approximation right so sir has explained this in uh, in this timestamp almost at 3 minutes in the lecture video you can refer to the video uh, refer to the video i am taking a simple example to just explain what uh, what what he taught there so for example if you have an image like this so we have an object here this black this uh, which is uh, shown in this black color and we want to segment it from its surrounding which is in white color so this uh, uh, white line is the is the curve c so within c we have omega 1 and outside it we have omega 2 so we consider all the possible cases for the position of curve so and also we define our fb as f1c plus f2c right because here it is over all the omega not just inside so f1c is mean calculate the mean square error within omega 1 and f2c calculates mean square mean square error within uh, omega 2 here u u in this function is the area integral basically average of the uh, image intensity in the region so this is mu 1 mu 2 right so here you can see uh, in very intuitively in the first figure in omega 2 all values have same uh, all the pixels have same value so the value same as the average that is why f2c is almost equal to 0 but here in omega 1 this will not be this will not be the case right because the average will be different from the individual pixels in the second case omega 1 in the omega 1 is like uh, it contains only uh, 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 black pixels so that is why f1c is close to 0 but f2c will not be 0 so you can see it is uh, the fitting term is minimized only in the case when the curve is on the boundary of the object so that is the purpose of this uh, uh, this functional term right that is the main uh, main uh, uh, 
hallmark of this uh, chain wave segmentation model this mumfold shaft function okay so this is also uh, a level set formulation me method although the function is different but still it is uh, it has a level set formulation so what happens in level set formulation is uh, given constraints on c we define an energy function in terms of phi and in case of a chain wave model this functional f is this right with the representation which we have already seen this f is actual image mu1 is what the average and all here capital h is the heavy side function right and uh, because it is not differentiable its a smooth function a smooth version is used right and when so now we have a functional in terms of phi not in terms of c please note that so when we uh, use our La, uh, euler lagrange equation we uh, find this this pd okay, del phi by del t is equal to this here delta is the smooth and uh, direct delta function so this is the pd that we solve and uh, we are not going to explain you the discretization and how how we are going to do it you have already seen like how we calculate gradient and all right and how we take a square this you can also do we are providing you the code directly and the code that we are giving to you contains some other terms also i think as usual so uh, we just want to tell you uh, i just want to like uh, uh, show you that whatever is taught uh, to you in the class is sitting in the code as well for example in this snippet you can see uh, first is identifying omega 1 and omega 2 right what is omega 1 what is omega 2 what is mu 1 mu 2 so here you can see with the help of phi first they found the points within omega 1 these are the interior points then the exterior points right uh, points in omega 2 then we find the value of means so this is mu 1 this is mu 2 and then we calculate this force i minus u square i minus v square right so this is one penalty and then also we have something for curvature that was not taught in the class but they have used so you can study the code and identify it learn it and then they are solving some equation d by dt so an uh, example implementation of chain wave segmentation is here so you start with an input image of um, this aircraft and then this is your initialization after some 200 iterations 250 iterations it will completely segment the airplane so this is one demo you can um, uh, download other codes also you can understand them right play with them understand them yeah so that's all for uh, chain wave segmentation uh, we, ho we hope that all the three methods you were that you were able to understand the similarities and differences between the three methods uh, with these implementations and also because you have the codes for all the three you can play with it you can um, implement your own terms so you can like uh, upgrade the code by adding more terms or you can also like simplify the code by uh, putting some other weights equal to zero and uh, we hope that uh, 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 with the code that will be provided to you and the uh, Inside and the uh, basic idea of the codes, you will be you will be able to like understand these active contour models better. So, thanks for your time. Hope hope this tutorial helps.